Samuel Hopkins Adams worked for McClure's magazine and wrote about the conditions of public health. During his time working for the magazine, he worked with other famous muckrakers like Lincoln Stevens and Ida Tarbell. He also worked at Collier's Weekly and wrote The Great American Fraud, which exposed false claims made about medicines that actually hurt others. His work led to the passage of the Pure Food and Drug Act of 1906. In 1911, the Supreme Court of the United States ruled that it was okay to falsify the effects of medicines as long as the ingredients were marked properly. In return, Adams wrote another article exposing the harm of misleading advertising to the public. In 1914, Adams wrote The Clarion, which addressed his concerns over false advertising of medicines. He fought to protect the consumers. Jane Adams was another muckraker who concerned herself with children's safety, women's suffrage, and settlement activism. She co-founded Chicago's Whole House, the most famous settlement house in the U.S. Adams found the Whole House and restored it so it could become a center for research, debate, and study. She was also very fond of children and wrote The Spirit of Youth in the City's Streets to argue that children needed time to play outside of work and school. She was also a founding member of the Juvenile Protective Association that was founded in 1907. She voiced her concerns about unsafe working conditions that led to disease and sometimes the death of workers. She also helped establish the Women's Peace Party, which was a pacifist organization that was against World War I. She became the vice president of the National American Women's Suffrage Association, along with Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Susan B. Anthony. Samuel Hopkins Adams and Jane Adams worked tirelessly to help others through their work, making them some of the best muckrakers of the late 1800s and early 1900s. Mm -hmm.